Hey guys, Boneyard here. Got the mini bike back up on the lift. Uh, my header wrap came, so uh, we're going to wrap this exhaust. I was going to try to do it on the bike, but it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the neck to work around everything. So I think I'm going to take the exhaust off. I might have to take the back fender off. So I'm going to be super careful. I don't scratch anything. And uh, there's a little nick there already. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this exhaust off. And this is, I got this header wrap off of Amazon. I already cut what I think I need. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like 14 bucks, 15 bucks. You do not have to soak this header wrap in water like the old days with that really uh, thick fiberglass header wrap where you would have to let it soak and then put it on while it was wet. This, you don't have to. I never used this before. I have used the other head of wrap that you had a soak in water. So I'm going to go ahead and get this exhaust off and then uh, let's see if we can get this thing wrapped. Okay, I hope you can see this. So I put a towel in the vise, <clears throat> slap my, my exhaust in the vise, and now we're going to wrap from this elbow, uh, you know, all the way down. So I've got the length that I need. I'm going to roll it up. So it's easier to work with. Like so. Then we're going to start here and wrap around. So what I like to do, I like to fold. Am I in view? Fold the ends over to make like. A point like so and then I'm going to start on the underneath of the exhaust and we're just gonna roll that around the hardest part is getting started once we get it started oh, try again here And the other stuff that you soaked in water was even harder to work with. But I don't know. I shouldn't say that. It's the first time I used this. But I know that other stuff was hard to work with. So I'm going to get that started like so. We're going to give it at least two wraps on top of itself. And then we're going to start working down the exhaust. Got a couple wraps on it now. I'm going to take a zip tie, which I'm going to replace with a metal one when I'm done. This is just to hold it in place so it don't come unraveled while you're going. Like that. We're just going to hold that like that. So, I'm going to get around this corner a little bit. And I'm going to overlap it about half of the width of the wrap. Hopefully, I cut myself off enough. I didn't chip myself. And you just keep on going all the way down. And pull it tight as you go. So I'm going to get another zip tie and put here just to kind of hold that in place while we keep going. Hopefully you can see it. I mean, it's kind of hard to show you when it's on the tripod. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to keep on wrapping, and then when I get done, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll throw the, uh, the metal zip ties on. Okay, so we have it wrapped, and at the end, I did the same thing. I folded it. I'll trim all this up after we get the, uh, the clamps on there. It does make your hands itchy, so I'm going to wash my hands, and we'll come back. Okay, so I'm putting these uh, stainless steel zip ties on I'm really not sure how they work but I just kind of pulled them through and held them tight with the pull pulled them tight with the pliers so that's what I'm gonna do it no instructions came with it at all so I like to I used to use uh, hose clamps in the steel hose clamps. But I figured I had these that came with it. I might end up using hose clamps, but let's see. Kind of hold it with the pliers. Loosen it up. You know, I want to cut that one off. I wonder if these will cut it. Well, actually, we can use this one in the middle here. Maybe we'll do that. Hold it with a screwdriver like that, and then I pull it, but doesn't go that tight. I guess it's okay. We'll try it. We'll see how it works. At the end, I might use hose clamps. Yeah, I don't, I don't like these things. Hold on. I'm going to get a couple hose clamps put on here. One up top. And then we'll go from there. I don't know if I'm going to use these clamps. Okay, so I have it on there. And I couldn't get those clamps, those zip ties to work. I don't know if I was doing something wrong. They just wouldn't hold. So I went old school, put a couple hose clamps around it. I don't think I need anything in the middle because once this gets hot and melts on there, it's not going anywhere. So that's pretty much it. Let's get it back on the bike. Okay, so I have the exhaust back on the mini bike. That's what it looks like. So now we gotta start it up and let it run and get really hot. It's gonna smoke a lot for a while, so we're probably gonna put it outside. But uh did make my hands a little itchy. There's still fiberglass in it, not as bad as the old stuff, but uh I should have wore gloves. I think it came out pretty good. Still got a whole roll left. So yeah, let's start it up and let it run. Okay, it's been running a while. It's not really smoking at all. Now, the old stuff would smoke a lot, but maybe because it was wet. For this video that's how i wrap my exhaust with header wrap hope you enjoyed it short little video i couldn't get those stainless steel uh zip ties to work so i went old school and used hose clamps like we used to on the uh, race car so it's smoking a little bit now 
But yeah, that's gonna be like that for a little bit. But anyway. All right, guys. Hit that like if you like this video. Hit the dislike if you didn't like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe. Hit the bell. That will let you know when I put more videos out. Uh, we're going to bring this to the show next weekend. Along with the engines. A couple more tractors. So we'll be uh, doing a video on that. So, all right, guys. Be safe out there. Bone your odds out.